All right guys, so I'm gonna show you how to get more compression out of your shot. Let's say you, you don't have a wide lens and you wanna, you want the compression out of the 85 or the 135 or the 105. So I'm gonna show you right now. I'm gonna show you with the GoPro view to actually show what I'm doing and the photos to actually see what I'm doing. It's a little bit tricky with off camera flash, but we're gonna attempt it, right? Look more higher. More up. There you go. No, you can get out the frame. Come to this side. And the oh, it's always oh, stay there. All right, guys. Here you see the settings, right here, 1600, 85, 1.8, 125th. Over here as well, you can see as well. Here, here you can see is a normal portrait, normal portrait right there, right? It didn't work out the way I wanted to with off camera flash, but I did it again with natural light just in case it's a precaution as to the, if it didn't work the way I wanted to. In this case, it didn't. So I did it again, natural light. Here you see the shots. I'm gonna go by the shots one by one. Ready? All right. Took a shot there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And a result, I got to this. Now, in order to get here, this is the final image, by the way, right here. It looks higher, I could just lower the highlights, but in order to get from here, in order to get there, you have to go back, and I edit from here to there, as you probably see in the thumbnail. So I select the first one, go all the way to the last image. In this case, it took a little bit extra, more than I had to, but since I'm shooting with a compression lens, um, I just want to play safer and then I select what I want. In this case, pretty much is all good. So you want to right click, photo merge, panorama. Now I'm going to just speed it up a little bit, the process, because my computer is slowing down a bit. So I know, you do want to make sure when you take the first shot, if you're in autofocus, turn it, put it to manual. That way it remains the way you said it when you took the shot. So everything, when you're going around, when you're going like, let's say it's a square. When you're going like, bam, 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 bam. It's a manual. Whatever is in focus will be in focus from that certain distance, but the rest will still have the compression around it. For my computer purposes, I'm not gonna let this running run full, but I'm gonna show you how it looks like in the end. Cancel. So here's the image. This is when in crop. This is when it's cropped. This is how you'll receive the image if you don't select the crop option. Where are you? Let's go to the crop. I'm telling you, this is so many files. So you're adding the megabytes of one photo combined with let's say 20 to 27. So that's a lot of, that's a big file. So here you see. Let me reset it. Here you see how the file looks like when it's all stitched up automatically by in this case Lightroom now what I did you could just you can manually crop or let it do automatically but in this case I want to do it I just did a five by seven all right so as you see here you still have that compression around there If you're looking at my file, why it looks pixelated is because I see it for Instagram purposes. So yeah, you steal the compression. You maintain that. And whatever is lined up with her in that focal 
distance to B sharp, it'll pick up. So yeah, that's how you get more compression out of your camera while taking it to Lightroom to make it a wider shot. Also known as the burnizer effect, I'll put the, the description in other videos. You can just Google it, how, how to achieve the burnizer effect. I believe I'm saying the name right, but from what I heard, it's burnizer. Let me double check. Correction, the burnizer method. <laughs> so yeah, just Google it. It's pretty simple, don't overdo it. As in my case, don't copy what I did here, because that processing time can take longer than expected. But yeah, that's how you achieve it. It's great for family portrait sessions when you mainly take one lens for a portrait like a 85 or a 50 and you take that full body shot and just take around it and maintain the, uh, maintain the compression. Uh, let me see if I can show you a few more shots where I did that. All right, here's one of a family shot that I did. The focus is right here and I took all around it. That's good for like framing photos. And here's another one of a couple that I did. Same thing. I shot it with the 135. Same result. So it's good to have as a backup whenever you forget the wider lens and, or you want the compression. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumb up. <laughs> Please give it a big thumbs up if it was informative. And happy Thanksgiving if you're watching this before Thanksgiving. If you're watching this after, hope you enjoyed Thanksgiving. Peace.